Welcome the stunning power couple, Paul Gross and Martha Burns. Good morning. <laughs> you wouldn't know that you had your premiere show last night because you look very well rested and uh, no jitters. Jitter free? It must be the lighting. Thank you for the clever lighting. <laughs> How yeah. did it go last night? It was, it was great. Yeah, it was fun. It was amazing. One wonderful Excellent. audience and lots of good laughs because, you know, you can, you, four weeks of rehearsal, there's things that you laugh at all the time sure. and then are surprised that, that the audience actually doesn't think that bit is funny. They're laughing at something else, but there was, there was a good bit of both. Talk to us a little bit about what Domesticated is about. <clears throat> well, it's, uh, <clears throat> it starts with uh, one of those dreadful kind of press conferences that we've all seen where a politician, I play the Secretary of Health for the state of New York and is standing with his wife by his side, uh, uh, looking resigning, grim. looking grim and resigning from office. And it turns out that he's been involved with a prostitute who's now in a coma. And so we go home inside the family and watch it explode. Very much art imitating life over and over again over the last couple of decades at least, at right? At least, yes, yeah. Yes. Shades of Bill Clinton and Elliot Spitzer and it's sort of, but it takes its own turn and it's really, it is wickedly funny and, and very challenging and the, some of the stuff that comes out of our mouths is unbelievable. So that's what I love. You say it's equal parts like shocking and entertaining, which is that gamut of emotions is so much fun to be able to witness because it really is indulging, isn't it, in mm -hmm. human emotion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it also, it, and it takes you through this, uh, the, the public private so it's sort of because we never really know what happens to those couples after mm -hmm. that kind of uh, public shaming but also I think that but the dialogue in it and the ideas in it are very much about well what is marriage what is love and why is there why why is there always a different kind of feeling or point of view from, uh, from the male or the female so he so he goes quite deep into the into these ideas that we think we share but maybe maybe we don't is that why this was the perfect play for you to come together as a real life couple to kind of like exercise said demons or at least <laughs> find you know, them find them perhaps after how many 27 years of wedded bliss longer is is it something is it? why was this the perfect form for you to come back together on stage i think it for me it's just re it was really the play is fantastic mm -hmm. he's a great writer bruce norris and the 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 detail and the structure of it is fantastic and it's also screamingly funny in an uncomfortable way so it was really the play itself was terrific and then I just I thought that it seemed to us that it would be perfect to do together because at least we don't have to talk about this stuff we have a kind of shorthand so we could just kind of get in and get doing the play you know? absolutely so, I would hate yeah. to have to do it with somebody else and say well what it's really like, or you know, you get into those yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. uncomfortable conversations. This was just a yeah. lot easier. And, and, and building up those that histories of behavior together. Well, those little kind of clues that we get from each other, we just think that that will just help make it seem like, oh, of course these people are married. These people have had a life Yeah, this together. is how we yell at each other, so we'll just move it over here. Do we yell at each other? No, we don't. Really. They're getting along right now. And you we can should, tell There is true love here, because to be able to work together all day long and then go home together and talk about other things besides work is a, is a challenge. Sometimes, Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a relief. It's a relief. Yes. It is kind of yeah. nice to be able to go home and whine about things. Right, because you actually yeah. understand because you were there all day long. And congratulations on your incredible family, including Hannah. We want to give a shout out to her getting huge buzz for her, her film Uncertain Times. That's uh, amazing. It's un Unless. The film is Unless. Oh, yeah. is it that one? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I understood it was Uncertain Times. It's Unless. It's, and maybe year. they changed the title. You know what they have, but maybe that's the oh. new title. Oh, we don't okay. Even so know anyway, that. she doesn't it's, talk it's to us. Wait, wait, wait. Can you tell? Is there any more information about <laughs> Hannah that you could tell us? She's beautiful. She's thriving. And she got the great acting that's genes so and looks from her parents. <laughs> this just in. Check out Domesticated, everybody. It's on now until December 13th. S. Yes. And you, you are true role models, not only in showbiz but in life for 27 years of wedded bliss. So continue Thanks. success. Oh. Right now, over to Kevin Frankish in the newsroom. Hey, Kev.